Good morning students. I am back again with another session of science chapter 8. In today's session we are going to study the composition of air. Or well, basically composition means what is exactly air made of. Okay. So what do you think is air made of? What all is there in the air? What do we breathe in? Oxygen. So definitely oxygen is in the air. Right? And what do we breathe out? Carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is also in the air. What else do you think is in the air? Huh? Okay. So have you ever seen, you must have all observed, observed that when you dry the clothes on a clothes line, when you dry the wet clothes on the clothes line, after some time the water vanishes. Okay? The clothes are dry. So where did that water go? That water also went off in the air. So that water also evaporated and became water vapor and evaporated in the air. So air also contains those water vapors, right? And what else? What else? Suppose you take a napkin, okay? You take a napkin and you wet it, okay? And you dry it on the clothes line. After two days, what will you see? The napkin is dry, but again there will be little dust on it. Why? What does that show? It shows that air contains dust also. So what is the composition of air? Composition of air is basically divided into three parts. The first one is gases. Gases include oxygen, that we breathe in, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Okay? Then, water vapor, water vapor, as I told you, when you dry the clothes on the clothes line, you, the water vanishes, so that water becomes water vapor and rises up in the sky. Even the water from uh, rivers, lakes, ocean, when it gets heated up by the sun, it rises up in the air in the form of water vapor. So, air also contains water vapor, right? Next, dust particles. If you leave your car in the parking lot or you just wash your car and leave it outside and you don't drive it for another two days and then you come outside and you see on the window there will always be dust. Right? And you people make smileys also on that dust. Right? So, from where did that dust come? Came? It came from the air itself. Right? So, air also contains dust particle. Now, particularly about gases, if I talk about only about gases, then 78% of the gases is nitrogen. 78% of the gases is nitrogen. Then, if I talk about oxygen, that is only 21%. Oxygen is only 20%. 1% this is oxygen. If I talk about the composition of gases in the air or how the amount of gases is divided, how much amount of gases is there in the air, then if we talk about the ratio then 78% of the air is composed of nitrogen and 21% of air is composed of oxygen and only 1% is composed of carbon dioxide. Okay. So, oxygen is used by us and carbon dioxide is also used by the plants, right? And nitrogen is also used by the plants. Nitrogen is also used by the plants but not directly from the air. So, if I talk about air, air is basically a mixture of gases, water vapor and dust particles. And in gases also, it is a mixture of 
more than one gases, some of them are oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. There are many more gases which are present in the air, but these gases are present in the maximum amount. Okay? So, this is about the composition of air. Now, please open page number 73 of your book so we can read it. What does air contain? Number 1. Gases. Air is a mixture of gases such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide, oxygen and other gases. All living things need oxygen to live. Carbon dioxide is used by plants to prepare food. We have studied about it, right? Carbon dioxide is used by plant to prepare their food using photosynthesis. We have studied it in chapter 2, right? Water vapor. Air also contains water vapor. We often feel sticky on a rainy day. Now one more example is given. On a rainy day, we often feel sticky. Tip, 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 tip like that. So why? Because air has moisture in it. Air has the water vapor in it. Because of that, we feel sticky. This is because of the large amount of water vapor that is present in the air during that time. Us time, bohat sara water vapor air mein present hota hai. So when it rains, the water vapor that is present in the air, that actually cools down and falls on earth as water. Right? In the form of water. Next is dust. So touch an object at home or in school that has not been wiped for many days. So any object that has not been cleaned for many days, what will you find? You will find a layer of dust on it. Where do you think this dust came from? It comes from? It comes from the air. Air contains a lot of dust particles which settle down on the objects present in the room. Let us perform an activity to show that air has dust particles. Take a clean handkerchief. Now this is again the same thing that we have I've already explained it to you. Take a clean handkerchief, dip it in a container having clean water and then squeeze it to remove as much water as you can. Take a clean handkerchief, dip it in the water, squeeze it as much as you can. Now place this wet handkerchief on the windowsill of your class. So you can place it anywhere near the window. Next, observe it carefully after two days. You will find that dust has settled on it, making it dirty. You can, now you cleaned it. Before you put it, you had already cleaned it. You had put it in water and squeezed it and everything put it nicely. Now again after two days, somehow the dust has come back on it. Vapas agai So what will you do? What does it mean? It means that air contains dust particles which again got deposited on the handkerchief. You can try the same activity in different places such as car parking area or playground. This way you can find out which places are more dusty than others. Okay, so that's all for today. You have to read this page 73 again and understand the composition of it. Thank you.